Hello, welcome to the Pender Island Soup Lunch Virtual Concert. Um, this, this, this is the second one I've done uh, this year, or this past 12 months. That was during this, uh, you know, this time where we can't all hang out and eat soup together and talk and hug and all those things we're just craving so badly right now. And uh, it will come soon, but uh, in the meantime, we can do this, which is awesome. Help connect us together. And uh, music and art are great ways to connect people together, especially, you know, over the internet like this. It's uh, it's really great. So I um, feel honored for the opportunity to play music for you. I'm going to play some brand new ones off of my new album I'm working on right now. Um, we'll start with The Yearning. There's The Yearning, brand new one, um, recording on my new album, which is going to be out in March or April, around that time, <clears throat> for a spring release. I'm going to play one off the, uh, actually another one off the new album, and it doesn't have a name yet, but it's inspired by my Jewish background, I'd say, because um, it definitely has that, that Jewish melody sound to it. So 
I'm doing this live unedited. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> so you'll have to bear through my tuning. I really look forward to jamming with people again. That's one of my <clears throat> one of my big things I'm looking forward to in uh, this year. <laughs> So if you have any ideas for names, you can write it in the comments. Um. Here we go. So there's two off the new album, and uh, I'm going to go back to the old album here. Um, I'm going to play the Sailing the Sailor Sea, which is the one inspired by this whole area, <clears throat> and also right into Orcus Jig, which is also very much inspired by this, or by this area. So here's Sailor Sea into Orcus Jig. Hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I think we're supposed to talk about our favorite soup recipe but my favorite soup recipes are just any soup that elspeth makes my wife she has a magic soup touch so i'll have to get her to maybe post some recipes for you guys
That was Sailor, uh, Sailing the Sailor Sea and Orca's Jig. Now, just to get into dadgad tuning here. Uh, a lot of the tunes I write for guitar and dadgad tuning for the guitar players out there. It's just a really beautiful tuning for, I find, for just discovering melodies. Especially when it's in tune. <laughs> Dearly, I wish to see everyone's faces right now. I'm going to imagine it. Um, I'm going to play one called Sweet Celebration off my last album. And uh, may it be dedicated to the sweet celebration we will have when life, life goes back to normal. I'm going to have one check to make sure my camera's still running. We're good. Sweet celebration. Let's see. I'm gonna tune up quickly again. I'm gonna play a piece called, um, I think it's gonna be called Dove. It was written for a very special um, family, family member in New Zealand. And uh, it was for her birthday. And then we're gonna go into one uh, about that same family member and it was their silver anniversary. It's called Silver Anniversary. So this first tune um, is going to be on the new album, and the second tune is on the last album. Here we go.
I send that one out to Joan and Robin in New Zealand. If they're watching. <laughs> Back to dad guy tuning here. <clears throat> so this is the tune that um, came to me after Elspeth and I were at that Daffodil Hill area, you know, by um, Port Washington. Is that, where, is that where that is? And we were just looking at those amazing daffodils and taking some pictures and uh, this little melody came. So it might be called something to do with daffodils. We'll see. Thank you. That's the first first one time playing that one in front of people in a in a sort of way. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play one that I when uh, Ruby, our daughter, was on the way last year. I, this melody came to me while she was still in the womb, and it's um, I could just picture her like a little butterfly, and uh, and I started playing something that sounded like butterfly. <laughs> butterfly so it just sort of turned into a tune and, and I'm gonna give it a try here we go this is for Ruby
That's a little Ruby Butterfly song. <clears throat> this next one is sort of one, an, another new one that uh, I haven't had a name for yet, but it had a little bit of a broke feel to it in a couple of sections that um, I sort of just came out that way. And one more check on the video here to see if it keeps on going because my phone is just about out of, out of space. We're still good. I don't have someone watching it, so I have to check myself. Last time I ended up playing for 45 minutes and the phone wasn't running. <laughs> Here we go. Well, it's live. We can't have to keep the little mistakes in there, but that makes it real, doesn't it? But that's a brand new one. And uh, <clears throat> any ideas for a name, let me know. But it's uh, kind of got some classical feelings about it in some spots and then some celtic -y and yeah, who knows? I'm going to play one, uh, Frida's Journey, written for my great-grandmother Frida, who was orphaned at the age of 12 and... Long story short, made it all the way on a boat to Canada from Russia by herself as a 14-year-old girl and made a life for herself over in Canada. An amazing story. And it's called Frida's Journey.
That was Frida's journey. Well, I think um, we have time for two more here. So I'm going to do one called This Home, which is uh, just dedicated to whatever you do that uh, feels like, you know, you're at home. If it's playing music, if it's gardening, you know, whatever gives you that, that feeling of being at home wherever you are. So this is called This Home. This home. So I just have one more here to do, and it's a, another brand new one. It's a it's a fast and <laughs> furious one here. I'll try my best. I haven't really played it for anyone before, so I'm gonna play it for my camera <laughs> and you guys. And thanks for tuning in and listening to this. And um, yeah, I just uh, look forward to seeing everyone more often, you know, throughout the year, and maybe doing a concert sometime somewhere. If, maybe when it gets nice out, we can play outside again and. <clears throat> have people you know gather in that kind of a setting that'd be great i'll do it as soon as i can <laughs> as soon as we're allowed so this one elspeth thought it sort of sounded like a salmon run so i don't know if you have any ideas what it could be called but uh here it goes we'll call it the salmon run jig <laughs>
All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys and um, guys and gals, and we'll see you hopefully in uh, in person sometime, sometime this next year. And um, and uh, I really hope this brought you some some peace and some good feelings here over this this winter. And uh, yes, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. <laughs>